guys, Jordan here and welcome to another video. So today I'm filming in a different setting. I'm filming in my living room because the living room gets better light even though it's rainy and it looks like crap outside. I live in Washington, what do you expect? Seeing as how I am pretty much obsessed with YouTube, I watch this channel called Superfruit a lot. It consists of a guy named Scott and Mitch, two members of the acapella group Pentatonix. Some of you might know them, but they have their own YouTube channel called Superfruit and I love it. They're really funny, I really enjoy them. And recently I watched a video of theirs called Nostalgia and it got me thinking. I would say I'm a pretty nostalgic person as well, so it kind of got me thinking about things from my past, things like toys I played with in my childhood, movies I used to watch, all that kind of stuff, and I thought, why not film a video about it? Oh, well, there's a lot of bikers, hello. I'll leave the link to Superfruits Nostalgia video in the description box below. I recommend go checking it out. It's like a sauna in here. So when I decided to film this video, I just kind of compiled a list of things that I felt nostalgic about, things from my childhood, and I thought I would share them with you. So when I was coming up with this list, one of the first things that came to mind were jelly roll pens. I was obsessed with them. I had like a little bag full of these pens, like every color. I'm not even kidding you, every single color you could possibly think of I had in these jelly roll pens. And I would be so heartbroken when they would run out and I didn't want to throw them away, even if they were completely out of ink and completely out of gel and the sparkly stuff that made them so amazing. I did not want to throw them out. I loved them. Another thing that I loved as a child were my Polly Pockets. I am not even kidding you. I probably played with them more than Barbies, more than those brat dolls. I loved Polly Pockets. I had like a little runway with all these different outfits for her. I had her airplane. I got her airplane for Christmas one year and I spent four hours. Not even kidding you. Four hours and I'll stop playing with my Polly Pocket airplane. I didn't want anyone to disturb me. I just wanted to play with my Polly Pocket have fun, imagine her life, imagine how cool she would be in real life, and just go on my day. I loved it. Razor scooters, oh my goodness. I got a Razor scooter for Christmas one year, and I would ride it in my hallway at home, and I got in trouble for my parents. They told me I was no longer allowed to ride my Razor scooter in the house, understandable. But I love my Razor scooter. I would ride it all the time. I would do like little tricks. And the worst thing though about Razor scooters is when they would whack you in the back of the shins. I wore wounds. I had plenty Razor scooter war wounds in my past. As many of you may know, I love a good boy band. And Jordan as a child was no exception. I loved Backstreet Boys, In Sync, 98 Degrees, all of them. And then going from child to teenager, I became obsessed with the Jonas Brothers. And as many people may know, I was very, very convinced that I was gonna marry Nick Jonas. I was convinced. I loved them. I saw them in concert numerous times. My bedroom had their posters plastered all over the walls. Like, I'm not even kidding you. There's no like wall surface that wasn't covered in a Jonas Brothers poster. The scooters that you would use in PE. I don't know how many people had these in their elementary school. I know mine did. We loved them. They would sit on, they had the two handles on the side, and then obviously like the wheels under it. And you would never want to get your fingers stuck under there, and if you fell off it would kind of hurt. MASH. Oh my goodness, MASH. I used to play this game with my friends all the time, so it was like, you would draw like the little box and like these little squiggles on the side, and then you would like, it was pretty much figuring out your future on like a piece of paper in a game. Like you could figure out who you were gonna marry, what kind of house you were gonna live in, what kind of car you would drive, what kind of job you would have. No matter what happened in MASH, that obviously was what your future was gonna look like. I think some of the best TV shows came out in like the late 90s, early 2000s. You had Lizzie McGuire, Boy Meets World, That's So Raven. Like you really can't get any better than those TV shows as a child. Kind of going off the whole Disney Channel theme, Disney Channel movies. You had Xenon, Johnny Tsunami, Halloween Town, Brink, Luck of the Irish, but that one was kind of creepy, but that's okay. Well, there you go guys, those are just a couple things that I personally feel very nostalgic about. I would love to hear what you feel nostalgic about, whether it's like a TV show, a toy you used to play with, music you used to listen to, any of it. Well yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later. Bye!